Hello and welcome. This episode features a Jaguar XG. First of all, let's start with the smart chart, just so we make sure we don't forget to look for anything. When shopping for a car, you need to go through the exterior condition, whether it's body, paint or tire wear. Then check the engine condition. Might seem hard, but there is multiple easy clues, whether it's weird noises, smells or smoke. Then there's the interior condition. Probably the easiest one there because it's bad if it's usually mostly worn and dirty. Also some clues that can indicate crash and repair cases. We'll talk about those later. Then take it for a test drive. It's the only mean of communication for the car to express herself. Finally, check the mileage. It's the moment you're most familiar with the car. Keep in mind that there really is no way to be 100% sure a used car won't need any repairs. What I would like to share throughout my work is ways to minimize the risk and deal the best price as fairly as possible. So let's start with the exterior condition. You're looking for inconsistency in the paint job, panels that seem to be lighter or stronger in color than the rest of the car. Usually you need the sun to be shining bright in order to kind of see how the light plays on the paint. First of all, the paint quality on this car. See, I'm not sure for this side. This whole side seems, seems a bit blurry. The reflection is good, but it's not perfect. While on this side, on, it's almost the same thing as the other side, so I'm quite not sure either either the whole car was painted or it's originally like this or maybe it's too dusty which actually could explain a lot now let's get our attention over the body condition as always this should be the most obvious part when you're walking around the car, look for any dings, broken parts, scratches, rust, inconsistent alignments in between the hood, panels, bumpers and doors. Everything looks fine. The wheels and tires. First of all, look and see if all four tires are the same make and model. Then take a penny and insert it in between the tire tread, it will give you a rough estimation. And finally, check the rims for scratches, pothole damage, and faded paint. We noticed there is a, a bubble over here. Which basically means the tires. This tire needs to be changed. The tire tread seems genuine, but there is too much damage on the tires to justify keeping them, so they must be changed. Don't forget to check the windows, but at this of your investigation you simply want to verify that all the windows are closed tight and properly the sunroof can unalign after a crash so inspect it as well moving on to the engine condition start it up and listen ideally a cold start is the best way for checking an engine if it's too rough you know it's usually packing a big load of mileage and try and listen for any weird ticking sounds, odd rattle or knocking noise. <laughs> it 
in this case all good. Then ask someone to rev up the engine a little bit so you can check the colored gas coming out of the exhaust. Is there any oil as well? There is three main colors that could indicate engine failure. Dark black, blue or white gray. The usual color should not be noticeable in summer and very light gray in winter. Don't forget to check for oil leak under the engine bay. After letting the engine heat up to normal operating temperature, it's the perfect time to inspect the engine bay. So shut the car off and check and see if there is any weird smells, whether it's coolant fluid or burnt smell. Look for any steam or smoke all around the engine bay. Now inside the engine bay there's something odd. This hole in the fabric. Now, why on a 2013 Jaguar you have such a state on the, the, the hood fabric? Let's move on to the third part from the investigation. Interior condition. Look for any interior wear mark. This kind of cars, the mileage plays a big part in their values. So what we need to do is find clues all around that can justify the mileage. Look for any unusual wear and tear on the steering wheel, seats, switches. Any unusual condition could be caused by excessive use, which should indicate a relatively high mileage. Inside of here, over here, it's a bit dirty. The seats are already starting to be tarnished. But at least the steering wheel and the, the rest of the fabric is genuine. Well, that doesn't close, but alright. wasn't supposed to happen so this part is broken as well as this We talked earlier about clues indicating a crash and repair case. It's mainly the seat belts mixed with black mechanic kind of dirt. When a car gets into the hands of a cheap money making mechanic, you'll most probably find black mechanic dirt all around the interior. Granted, it doesn't mean the car was crashed. The car might simply be in for cheap maintenance. A crash and repair case is most usually given away by the seat belts. See, seat belts are made in a specific way so they lock when the car gets into a crash and they have to be replaced. They are kind of expensive to buy directly from the dealer because they usually come as a full kit because of safety measures, which makes it the perfect black market item usually stolen parts. This is where it gets interesting. Parts on the black market aren't handled with all due care and attention. Once they have been removed from stolen cars, they are basically thrown away, waiting for customers. Meanwhile, those parts accumulate dirt, rust, and all kind of nasty stuff. The weird part is that nobody bothered cleaning them up. That's the best explanation I was able to come up with after witnessing numerous recent cars with seat belts in terrible states. In this case though, the seat belts are crystal clean. 
all good. On to windows and sunroof. Check if all the windows are working properly, open them up and close them down. Don't forget to check if the windshield wipers show any malfunction. Now it's time for a test drive. I would suggest to drive it in city roads until it heats up, then take it on the highway. Make sure the radio is turned off and ask the salesman to remain quiet so you can focus on the car. After going through that smart chart thoroughly, you really should begin to have an idea on the actual mileage of the car. So check it out at the very end of your investigation. If the shown number makes you uncomfortable, walk away or try and get the best deal as fairly as possible. Don't forget to check and see if there is any cluster light indicating needed maintenance. There is maintenance. a warning light on the bottom of the screen. I'll thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed. Whether you're looking to buy or to be entertained by nice car footage, I suggest you subscribe and scroll to the channel. There are many things which discusses many cars. Thank you, take care and goodbye.